hey loves welcome back to my channel this is HT signature so today's tutorial is going to be on a brow tutorial it's beginner friendly brows for those that have full ears so I'm going to be showing you guys how to fill in your brows without making it too strong started with um, Sasha to set the brow area so that it will make whatever product I'm using to glide on smoothly without slippery so afterwards I went into uh, a brow pomade which is from blood cosmetics it's a Nigerian brand so I'm using that to slightly fill in my brows like if you guys see what I'm doing I'm not drawing my brows I'm giving it a stroke a feathery stroke if you do a feathery stroke to your brows it doesn't make it come out too dark so I'm using um, a two-ended brush from elf elf cosmetics one side is the angled brush and the other side is this pulley but the, the part that is the angled brush is very thick so I had to make it thin to fit into what I wanted to do so if you guys want me to put up a video on how I did that a DIY on how I make it thinner so let me know in the comment section so what I'm doing basically now is I'm trying to create a force air at the beginning of my brows one tip for you guys when you're drawing your brows make sure that it's not too far away from each other that's the head of your brows because when you the head of your brows are too far away from each other by the time you're highlighting and contouring it will give you that narrow shape for your nose so the closer your brows are together the thinner your nose become so i hope you guys jot that down so what i'm doing now is i'm creating a stroke at the beginning of my brows and i'm using the lightest hand as possible I'm trying to fill in my hair so I'm not basically drawing my brows I'm trying to create a stroke in any area that I feel is sparse so afterwards I'm going into a concealer and this concealer is from MAC Cosmetics and I'm using a very small detailer brush from Ferrarushi you can use this brush for any so I'm using that brush to pick the lightest shade there to I light the center part of my brows which is the arch area then I'll be using a domed blending brush to staple that into my skin afterwards I'm going to be going into a con sorry a foundation that is a little bit darker than me but it's kind of my perfect shade at the beginning of my brows and also at the tail part the excess of doing this is just to make it blend seamlessly into my skin I don't want the lighter concealer to come to the beginning of my brow so it doesn't look too artificial and fake with this process you can actually do this and go out without wearing makeup it's going to be nice so I'm using that same brush to blend it into my skin so the only part that is highlighted is going to be the middle of my brows so that gives your brows a very nice flattering so I'm just going to be making sure that I knitting everything properly. Then I'm also going into that same foundation with the same brush to clean the top side of my brows. But this time around, I'm using the foundation, my foundation shade for the whole part of the top part of my brows. And if you guys notice, before I started doing this, I take off the excess almost close to my brows, like not very close because if you take your foundation directly or your concealer directly into your brows at the top side it might leave the excess close to your brow hair brow hair and trying to blend that out might be very very difficult so afterwards i'm going to be using that same brush to blend everything out seamlessly so guys if you're going to be going out without wearing a makeup this part you will go with your powder and set everything to look nice into your skin you can go with different shade of powder to to target the different areas of the brows which is the lighter part and the ones with your skin color then you can go out but because i'm still going to be doing my base afterwards so i'm just going to leave that i won't set it with the powder and if you have a brow gel you can also set that as well so this is how light my brows comes because i use the light hand guys Please let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so, so much and God bless you. Bye.